It is my destiny to claim my golden mask of power and become the master of ju- <sighs> Dang it, Liwa. This is the 20th time this week. Hello everyone, we are also here with my first Biangle 2015 review, and it's going to be on Liwa, the Cyberman of Jungle. You belong to us. You shall be like us. Really, his mask still look like a Cyberman to me. Liwa has 85 pieces with new stuff and recolor of silver, bright light orange, and what I thought was going to be normal green for the Amata, but instead it's bright green that we have seen in the Green Lantern Ultra build. The color scheme at first I didn't like because of the bright light orange, but it's starting to grow on me. But I still don't think it fit with the jungle theme, in my opinion. I changed those armor to dark green, changed the feet to bright green, and the pearl dark gray axe pieces to silver. This look of Liwa I think is much better, plus people in North America could get the dark green for long armor that have only came in 2014 Cragger. But anyways, let's move along. The body is really odd looking, I mean why are his arms that high up? That gives him a hunchback look. Should Bohatu have that, not Liwa? Plus it hinders the head movement for his windfly. Windfly! Um, I can't see where I'm going. Ow! Speaking of windfly, his weapon can be taken apart and can be attached to the tiny pieces that stick on the back of the horns to activate his windfly mode. The weapons are great that they make a reference to both the Mata Axe and the Nufa Swords by mixing the two weapons together with the Windfly mode. The biggest thing that Liwa and the other master have is the new knob function that was made by using the new knob box, which referenced the gear box with its gear function back in 2001. Liwa's knob function work perfectly. The weapon is not heavy and nothing is in the way with its function. Unlike Golly. Another thing with Liwa body is the printed chest armor, which I am not a fan of Liwa's printing. I don't know why, but it's just all looking to me. He also has shoulder armor that uses the pieces that came in Hill Factory Evasion for below, but it's in silver with Liwa that can move around a lot. He also has a third one on his back. Now to the last and most important point of the set, the head. Now you may think I'm talking about that mask pop off thing, well... Really? It's about the mask, and that it doesn't even look anything like the original mirror mask. Beside those side cheeks, and that it looks more like a Cyberman. I mean look at it! It doesn't look like Liwa old mask while Tahu does, plus he got a golden one as well. Beside the head problem, overall this is a great looking set to collect and fun to play with and had great recolor parts for making mocks. I do wish that Liwa has something to store his swords, but I do recommend Liwa to be the first set to get. Also, I would go over the possibility, but it's just the same thing as what we have seen before. Anyways, that is all. This is why also, and damn it, Liwa again. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention that he come with a dark blue skull spider.